And we're back and this time I'm going to show you how to create the poop emoji in Adobe Illustrator. You need the pen tool for that, but it's not that complex. We can do that. Under view I've got the smart guys and snap to point only activated and I've got a black stroke no fill. I'll select the pen tool, you can press P for that. And then I simply left click to create anchor points. And when I left click and drag, I can create these curvatures. In some cases I want to release the curve, so I'll have to go back to the last anchor point and left click. So that I can create these waves on the left hand side. So there's the final one and this time I don't release it. Instead I keep the curve and I go to the right hand side. And again, click and drag, use the handles to create the curve. And this is going to be the first connector. So I'll have to have as many anchor points on the right as I have on the left, so that I can create connections later on. Don't worry if it's not perfect yet. We will use the direct selection tool afterwards. Let me close this shape. Again, click and drag at the top and then release it. And now we use the direct selection tool. You can press A, then click on the anchor points and we'll reposition them a little bit. You can see we've got the handles as well, so we can adjust them also. And that's a good starting point. Let us add another one at the bottom. Make sure you click on the path. Then click and drag on the right hand side. It's on the path as well. Now we create the connectors. Just go from anchor point to anchor point and use the handles to create curves. You can hold control and then left click to deselect the last curve and then you can create new anchor points. Final one on top. It doesn't have a connection, I'll leave it open. Let me increase the stroke weight, so I select it all. And now we want to have the stroke menu. So play around with the caps and the corners. So the round caps creates this effect and the corners. It helps us with these overlaps. All right, now I'll use the width tool and I readjust the width of these connectors. You can always press Ctrl Z to undo the last step. Now we'll have to reposition some anchor points, like here for example. Just use A, the direct selection tool again, click on it, reposition it. I don't like this at the top, let me use the width tool again. Let me give it a brown fill color.
and you can see it covers the last connector so at the bottom so what we need to do is to rearrange that so let me press ctrl y for the outline mode i'll move that downwards i'll select the top part right click arrange center back You can see it has covered the other connectors, so Ctrl Y, let me shift click on them, then right click, arrange, bring to front. I'll press Ctrl Y again, and this is what we wanted to have. Now select it all, we'll go to object, path and offset path, make sure previous checked. Let me use this size, that looks fine. But you can see it covers a little bit of the strokes. So I press Ctrl Z once. Now it's still selected. I get rid of the stroke. It's still selected. Then right click, arrange, center back. And now it doesn't cover anything. I don't like this anchor point down here. So let me use A for the direct selection tool once more. And I'll put that on the path. Now let us create the eyes with the ellipse tool. We want to have a white fill and a black stroke. And I'll increase the stroke weight a little bit. Maybe to five, six points, something like that. I'll press Ctrl C and Ctrl F. That way it's copied and then paste it in front. And then I resize that holding Shift and Alt. I want to have that with a black fill and no stroke. I'll shift click on the black and the white of the eye. Then I'll hold Alt and drag a copy out of it to the right side. Let me shift click on the eye elements, so the four ones. I'll group them with a right click and then I arrange them to the center. I'll arrange the other elements as well. And let me group that also. And now we need the mouth. Let me use the line segment tool for that. I'll hold shift to drag a straight line, I give it a white stroke and I increase the stroke weight. Then I press Ctrl C, Ctrl F and I use the anchor point tool. Go to the center and drag it downwards. I'll press V for the selection tool, I shift click on the two mouth elements and I give it a round cap. That way I've solved this problem at the edges, you can see that here. It's still selected. I go to Object and Expand. And now I can use the Shape Builder tool and connect that. And I want to give it a black stroke. Maybe five points should be fine here. I don't like this anchor point at the bottom. Let me use the outline mode again, so Ctrl Y and press A for the direct selection tool and I reposition that. And this is how you can create this poop emoji in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.